Did you know that Indonesia is the most populous Muslim majority country in the world? Did you also know that Indonesia was once teeming with Hinduism and Sanatan Dharma? Yes, that's right. Indonesia is home to some of the most beautiful and gorgeous Hindu mandirs in the whole wide world. And despite being a Muslim majority country, the nation still respects its deep Hindu roots. Here's a fun fact. The currency notes have Bhagwan Ganesha's image on it. How beautiful is that? Anyway, in this series developed by TFI, we trace back to the story of how Hindus traveled to different countries across the planet, settled there and made it their home. In the previous editions, we covered the story of Hinduism in the nations of Fiji, Mauritius, Suriname and also in the Caribbean islands. Click on the card here to watch the previous videos in this series. You will find the links in the description. The fifth one in this series is the magnificent island of Bali in Indonesia. So what's the story of Hindus in Bali? And what's the current status of Hindus there? Well, let's find out. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm Siddharth, your host. In this video, I will talk about the history of Hinduism in Bali in Indonesia. Let's begin. Indonesia is predominantly a Muslim country with around 86% of the population practicing Islam. However, the island of Bali is a rare exception. More than 90% of the population on the tiny island practices Hinduism. Long before Islam came to Indonesia, Hinduism had reached the Southeast Asia country and in particular the island of Bali. Kalinga was instrumental in shaping the history and culture of Indonesia, especially in the island of Bali. The maritime trade of Kalinga brought prosperity to the kingdom, which could largely be attributed to overseas trade with distant lands like Indonesia. The people of Kalinga maintained lasting commercial and cultural relationships with the Indonesian islands of Java, Sumatra, Bali and Borneo, collectively referred to by some scholars as Suvarna Dwipa. The island of Bali formed the most attractive destination for the merchants of Kalinga. In this process, Odia culture, customs, religious beliefs, ideas, language, script and manners were popularized on the island. Balinese Hindus worship several gods, but the holy trinity of Brahma, Shiva and Vishnu is the most cherished one. H.B. Sarkar in his book titled Some Contributions of India to the Ancient Civilization of Indonesia and Malaysia, published in 1970, says, Indeed, all known gods of any importance in the Hindu and Buddhist pantheon of India had their heyday in Bali. As per traditional beliefs, Bali was considered to be the center of the universe and the home of Devis and Devas. The Balinese verses, which refer to five pious women, are very much similar to India, that is, Om Ahalya, Draupadi, Sita, Dara, Mandodri, Talha, Panchakanya, Smarin Nityam. Indian influence in Bali could be easily seen in the composition of works on astrology. Sanskrit also had a great influence on their language and literature. The Balinese, till today, celebrate Indian festivals like Mahashivratri, Saraswati Puja, Durga Puja and many more. The name Bali is said to have originated from the kingdom of the demon emperor Mahabali, who had gifted away the entire world to Vaman avatar of Bhagwan Vishnu. There are ample proofs to testify that the Hindu influence from India reached Bali because of the trade relations between the two nations. Recent archaeological discoveries indicate that the contact between India and Indonesia, particularly Bali, had been present at least since the beginning of the Common Era or CE. Discovery of roulette glassware beads, semi-precious stone beads, potsherds with karushti characters, etc. from Bali points to ancient cultural contact between Bali and different regions of India. The Hindu texts such as Vrihat Samhita and Kathasarita Sagar affirm trade relations between India and Bali since very early times. The Brahmin priest in Odisha is known as Panda, where in Balinese temples, he is called Pandanda or the holder of Dharmic scripture. Various forms of worship also show similarity between the two regions. One of such instances is the worship of Goddess Sri Devi and Devi Lakshmi. Both Devis are associated with Dhanya and Tandula. People of both the regions worship a knotted bundle of paddy sheaves paying their respect to both the Devis. In Odisha, this worship is performed on every Thursday in the month of Margasirsa and is popular as Gurbara Manabasa. There are more than 20,000 temples across the island. Each one is associated with a specific characteristic such as the virtue of descent or geographical area. Despite being the largest Muslim country in the world, Indonesia's currency displays Bhagwan Ganesha. In addition to that, the country's official airline is named Garuda, which holds a major significance in Hindu culture and history. 
Balinese and Odias have many similarities with respect to food habits. Both are fond of eating sag, especially sajana sag. Other favorite vegetables common to both include banana flowers and core stem of the banana plant. The Balinese also serve their food on banana leaves, as in Odisha, Bengal, and many South Indian regions. Similarly, cakes made out of rice flour are known as manda pitha and enduri pitha are also favorite dishes of both. The habit of chewing betel and keeping the ingredients in a wooden box are found in both the regions. Moreover, last year, Indonesia's president, Jokowi Widodo, issued a presidential regulation recently, which proclaims the Hindu Dharma State Institute in Denpasar, Bali into the first state Hindu university of Indonesia. The university has been named Gusti Bagus Sugriva State Hindu University, after Sugriv, a character from the epic Hindu history of Ramayana. In fact, the Indonesian president is himself a Bhagwan Krishna follower. When asked about who is his favorite superhero, he had answered Krishna, recognizing how the chakra made Bhagwan Krishna very powerful and how the Hindu god also happens to be very wise. I'm a superhero. What kind of superpowers <laughs> would you like to have? Apa ya kalau superhero? Krishna, Krishna. Karena Krishna itu kalau di Indonesia, khususnya di Jawa itu uh, sakti. Kedua kuat dan memiliki senjata ampuh yang namanya uh, panah uh, cakra itu sehingga apa? Krishna ini sakti sekali, tetapi juga dia sangat. As reported by TFI, Indonesia's first president Sukarno's daughter Sukmavati Sukarno Putri recently performed ghar vapsi by returning to her Hindu faith. The founder of the Indonesian National Party, Sukmavati is the third daughter of Sukarno and the younger sister of former president Megawati Sukarno Putri. It was her grandmother Ida Ayu Nyoman Rai Srimben who inspired Sukmavati to convert to Hinduism. With such an astral connection to Hinduism, it would not be a hyperbole to suggest that Balinese Hindus are more Hindu than many Hindus here in India. The people on the island have not only kept their traditions alive, but they take immense pride in propagating the beauty of Sanatan Dharma further.